throughout Kenya and Tanzania, Democratic Republic of Congo. when I stand here, the message goes via radio, by television, by satellite, by internet. I think of Jesus' words in Matthew chapter 24, verse 14, the gospel of the kingdom, preaching all the world, this had a week of prayer with my colleague, Pastor Christian Martin. And Pastor Martin tells us that there have been 70 decisions for baptism of the students. Can you welcome the students at Corona Adventist School? Just welcome. Pastor Martin, run up here and welcome your students. I know they're watching tonight, and they want to see you. Pastor Martin, students, he is welcoming you. So proud of your students. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you, Pastor. Let's go to Mabanda. Adventist Church in Burundi. We have brothers and sisters there. We have but God is blessing Katonda Burundi. Nabo powerfully. And Jesus is touching yes. their hearts through this hope for Africa. Africa. And then we have the Soro. Oh, I gotta look at my pronunciation here. Soro, help me with the pronunciation, would you please? Well, no, that wasn't good. <laughs> That's in East Kenya, I know that. And God is blessing. And then Kizo in the Mara Conference in Moro the uh, Tanzania. This is Mata. the high school. You know, so many, many secondary. Get so many reports from the high schools where students by the hundreds are coming and listening, listening, making decisions, planning to, to be baptized. baptized. Oh, well, this is baptized. Ki Bambilo uh, in Kigoma. Ki Babilo. Ki Babilo. Ki Bambilo. I know, I got my Tanzania right in the front row. David, Mutanzania. checking my pronunciation. <laughs> All right, this is uh, in the, uh, in the, in Kigoma. And uh, they are coming, they're outside. Boba and uh, yet, in in spite spite of of or not, they watch the screen. Many are coming to Christ. And and tonight, Christ. From the Democratic Republic of Congo, the in Kisagani, of Congo, 36 Sangani. souls e baptized in you and I have heard something big for God. Oh, now it's so we are part of the kingdom of God. We are Hope for Africa. We are God is being uplifted. Where Jesus is being exalted. Where the Spirit is being poured out. Yes, God is being poured out. We just bow our heads where we are, Father in heaven. The Spirit of God is being poured out. Africa. We sense in these different sites hundreds, hundreds of thousands of students listening to the word of God opening their hearts to respond to God tonight I want to pray for the students there are students watching that haven't made their decision may they make them tonight. I pray for Kigoma I pray for our refugee camps to in that area. Bless them tonight and may many make decisions. I pray for those souls that were baptized in the DRC. I pray that you'd keep them close to you. I pray for Tanzania, Kenya, Kenya. for every one of our sites in this Jesus, may they 
Revelation God created all things through Jesus Christ. So Steve's revelation is the revelation of Jesus in Steve's to worship the Creator. Revelation's message calls us to worship Jesus Christ as Creator. And why do we anyway? Revelation 4 verse 11 says Thou art worthy, O Lord, or the to receive glory. We created all things. We worship. So we were created. We are created you before you ever existed. in the mind. We are that our life does not exist to by some accident. That we worship God. Has God left a sign of his creative authority? Has God left a sign for us every week of worship? Let's go back. Back to the book of Genesis. How we worship the Creator. Revelation 14, 7 says, In the light of the coming of Christ, Worship the one that made heaven and earth seed of the Revelation 4.11 says that he's worthy of our worship. Has he left a sign of his How do we worship him as creator? We can only understand the book of endings, Revelation. We understand the book of beginnings, Genesis. 
Echo so we go back to the book of Genesis this evening. God created the world. In this intricate world, as we know it today, it was created in six literal days. Our creator spoke, and earth came into existence. And flowers appeared in all the different beauty. With the reds, the yellows, and the violets, the yellows, the purples, he spoke, and animals, and all kinds of things, but God created from the dust of the earth, Adam took a rhythm, created Eve, and God said in Genesis 1, verse 26 and 27, let us make man after our birth, and each God created him, male, 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 when God made Eve, he made a woman. He created them in such a way that there was a longing in their heart. And 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 there was a longing in their Thus the heavens and the earth and the and on the the and on the seventh day God ended his work and God rested on the seventh day and all his work he had done and God blessed the seventh day and because he rested on all his work he had created made the seventh day Sabbath in that creation is God's perpetual reminder of our worth. We see every Sabbath as we come to worship, we are reminded that we are not animals. We are reminded that we are not here by accident. We are reminded that we did not evolve. Every Sabbath we're taken back to creation. Every Sabbath we go back. To the God that created us, we praise God that He brought us into existence. We praise God that He created us special. And the Bible says that on the seventh day, three things happen. God blessed the seventh day. What day did God bless everybody? The seventh day. Now you can get a blessing. You can get a blessing any day you worship. You get a blessing on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. We come here sometimes on a Sunday night. We get blessed. We come here some days on a Wednesday. We get blessed. But you can never get the Sabbath blessed unless you get the blessing where God put it. Because the Sabbath blessing is on Monday, the seventh day of the week. Now let's look at this way. Suppose I had seven Bibles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And suppose I had a thousand dollar bill. I would have to give you a thousand dollar bill. If you read the first Bible, could you get a blessing if you read the second one? But it was just my seventh Bible. 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 A special blessing. The only place you could get the reason to thousand dollars in my Bible. In fact, my Bible, I've been preaching out of this Bible for many years. It's worth more than a thousand dollars. Here's the point. You could never get a thousand dollars out of the Bible if a thousand dollars wasn't put in the Bible, right? You can never get the Sabbath blessing unless you worship on the Sabbath day. That Sabbath blessing doesn't come on Sunday. It 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 doesn't come on the, the, the first day, the second day, the first day, the second day, the second day, the seventh day. The seventh day is an interesting word. It means to set apart from the rest. To make it different. 
And he goes to get in the car. One of her sisters jumps in the next And he says, wait a minute, I didn't marry you. You're not sanctified. And she says, one in seven. What difference does it make? Does it make a difference? Pastor, come up here. Pastor David. If one woman is sanctified for one man, you, do you have heard it from the marriage specialist. You cannot do that. That woman is not alike. Uh, one is sanctified. All days are alike. What difference is it? Because one day is sanctified by God. What day is that, everybody? Seventh day. God blessed what day? Seventh day. God sanctified what day? Seventh day. God rested on the seventh day. Not because he was tired. But he knew that we would be tired. So as you come on Sabbath, our spirits are renewed. Our bodies are renewed. We live in a world of stress. We live in a world of worry and We enter the church. We sing the songs of heaven. We are embraced by our brothers and sisters. Words of encouragement are spoken to us. We listen to the word of God. It fills our hearts. Jesus <laughs> of creation. The sign of how much he loves us. Some people have a strange idea that the Sabbath was given to the Jews. Well, the Jewish, they say, but, but wait a minute. The Bible says the Sabbath was made for, for man. And woman too. But look, how many Jews were around at creation? But you die, but make up all you want. Not come into existence. But you die, but Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and his twelve sons, and Jacob, and Abraham, and Jacob become the twelve tribes of Israel. So there are at least twenty-three hundred years before the Sabbath was given to the Jews. Twenty-three hundred years before the Exodus. God gave the Sabbath to Adam and Adam Eve Eve in Eve. creation as a blessing to Na all ye, humanity. Wa, oh, Even sabiti, before the Ten Commandments, the Sabbath was kept. Remember, Remember the children wa. of Israel went out Israel. to gather the manna that fell. God God said, said, gather manna, manna six days. Don't gather any on the seventh day because that's God the Sabbath. God worked the Sabbath then. Manna fell only on six days. And never manu Second, the manna that they gathered on the sixth day, the manu the portion, portion and thirdly, the, 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 the
in at the book of Exodus chapter 16 6 days Some of them disobeyed God. And they said to them in Exodus 16, How long will you refuse to keep my commandments and the Lord? We have been given to Mount Sinai with the finger of God. This is before Mount Sinai. And they said, How long shall you keep, shall you refuse to keep my commandments and the Lord? When God created Adam and Eve, He broke the law of God on their hearts. So they knew that it was wrong. Bali bachi bani de dala chibi kubamba. Bali bama sabi. Kubamba katika magamba. Yesu ya magamba ni yari yaru wa mukana rutu kuzi na rutu mali ya. Luati yaba wa mateka na ni agebi ma kubi pande ya maingia. Kubamba banga ni bali bama zemi si. Bali bali bali. The commandments first came on Sinai. God wrote those commandments on the heart. Right from Genesis, but then we come. We come to the Ten Commandments, and God writes them on tables of stone with his finger. God writes them in the sand where the waves can wash them away. God writes them in the sand where the waves can wash them away. God writes them in the sand where the waves can wash them away. God writes them in the sand where the waves can wash them away. God writes them in the sand where the waves can wash them away. The Ten Commandment Law with his own finger on tables of stone, so that they would endure forever. They would endure for every generation. One of those commandments, Exodus chapter 20, verse 18, says, "Remember the Sabbath day." The commandments begin with the word. One. Why do you think that the Sabbath commandment begins with the word "remember"? That God knew that most of the world would forget. So in a final generation before the coming of Jesus, in an age of rush and hurry, in an age of godlessness, in an age of materialism, in an age of evolution. God sends a special message through His people to the world. A message that says, "Fear God." And the Lord's judgment is coming. Worship God. 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 From the Sabbath commandment, six days shall be kept, and do all your work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord your God. Sabbath is 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 the Lord your God. With his own finger. On his own what difference does it make? What day? He has to be the one God blessed and God blessed and God rested upon. But let's suppose your birthday was four. Would all the celebrations the day before your birthday, the twenty-third of September, all your birthday, all the celebrations the day after your birthday, the twenty-fifth of September, would the celebrations make that day your birthday? Oh, the birthday of the world is the birthday of the world. All the celebrations on the day before Sabbath, the sixth day, or the day after Sabbath, the first day, don't make those days the Sabbath because they're not the first day. The birthday of the world. Every week is the seventh day of Sabbath. Why do we keep the Sabbath? Exodus 20, verse 11. The Lord made heavens. Remember this, the exact creation of the Lord. The sixth day is the Lord made heavens and the sun and the earth and the sea and all that in the midst. So we celebrate the birth of the world every week. But I want to close with the Sabbath. How do you determine a year? A year is the amount of time that the Earth rotates 
around how do you calculate from astronomy a month the moon around the earth Sometimes 31 days. How do you calculate one day? The amount of time that the Earth rotates on its axis. So the day, the month, the year, all are tied to the sky. Where do we get the seven-day week? Why do we get seven days? It's not tied to astronomy. The only basis for a seven-day week is creation yeah, in the snap. Week, to so the seven day week comes week in the book of Genesis and the snap is the end of that seven day week in for all the men to come into rest to worship their creation because God rested on the seventh day he blessed the seventh day the Sabbath was never an exclusively Jewish institution it was given to Everyone who keeps from defiling the Sabbath, I will bring to my holy mountain and make them joyful in my house of prayer. For my house shall be called a house of prayer for all nations. Now the Sabbath is a sign of universal brotherhood and sisterhood. The Sabbath says that there's no superior race, there's no inferior race, because God made us all whatever the color of our skin, whatever the texture of our hair, whatever the color of our eyes, God made us all of one blood, we are all brothers and sisters in Christ. And the Sabbath says that men and women come from every nation, from every nation, every culture, every creed, every background to worship God. If the entire world recognizes God as our Creator. If the entire world recognizes that we are brothers and sisters in Christ, if we all came together and were to worship, there would never be a war, would never be international conflict. That is why it is a universal day of peace for men and women around the world because we recognize God is our creator. We recognize God as the one that brought us together. Is the people of every nation. Common people. God's message is going out to the ends of the earth. The Old Testament is the Sabbath. It's God's everlasting sign for all humanity. That Ezekiel chapter 20 verse 12 says, I gave them my Sabbaths to be a what? Sign. It means that they have to be a woman. That they may know that I am the Lord their God who sanctifies. So the Sabbath is a sign of creation. Sabbath is also a sign of redemption. We rest from our works on Sabbath. We rest in Christ's love. We rest in what He did on the cross. The Sabbath is a sign of sanctification. The God who created us. Can recreate our hearts. The God that has power in creation has power in our lives. You see, the Sabbath is His tremendous day of worship. The Sabbath was given in the Garden of Eden. Generations kept it down through the days of Moses. And from Moses to the days of Christ, the Sabbath was kept. In fact, speaking about Jesus, do you think Jesus is a good example? How many of you went to Jesus? Do you think Jesus is a good example? Do you think Jesus is a good example? Luke 4, verse 16. So he came to Nazareth. He had a home. And as his custom, as what was everybody, as his what? Jesus in his life yes, kept the Sabbath. Can you change somebody's will after the Can a judge come along and change somebody's will after they die? Can you do that? No. 
Can you change Jesus will and uh, so no after his life? Sa e chila mo cha ye so in his life the keeping of the Sabbath and and Jesus kept the Sabbath. The Sabbath must be good for you and for me, right? Jesus says, yes, Mark 2, verse 27, the Sabbath was made for man, not for man. Was the Sabbath made for you? Yes. Yeah. The Jews are man. <laughs> was the Sabbath made only for the Jews? It no. was made for Gentiles. It was made for Gentiles. It was made for Europeans. It was made for Africans. It was made for Americans. It was made for all humanity. The Bible says the Sabbath was made for men and women and women and not men. The Sabbath is a sign. A sign that we worship Exclusively, we put in It's a sign that we love him. Even in death, Christ kept. Friday, they nailed him to the cross. Friday, they nailed him to the cross. The broken crown of thorns upon his head. Blood ran down his face. They took his bruised and broken and bloody body off the cross on that Friday. They laid him in the tomb. And he rested on the Sabbath. 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 He rested that his work was finished. He rested that salvation was complete. And every Sabbath as we come, we rest in the completed work of Christ for us. We rest. Jesus said in John 14 verse 15 If you love me, do what? If you love me, do what? If you love me, do what? Jesus said you love me, do what? Keep my commandments In fact, some people say, well The commandments were nailed to the cross Wait a minute. What did Jesus tell his closest followers that his life he talked about the destruction of Jerusalem? That took place in 70 AD. In the time of the Christ. Jesus said to them, yes, in Matthew 24, verse 24, Pray that your flight from Jerusalem will be reflected in the night that you will not be the wind of the night of the night of the night of the night. Why should they pray that their flight be not on Sabbath? Because if they were on Sabbath, where would they be? If the Romans attacked, they were worshipping, they were worshipping, they were worshipping, they were worshipping, Capture them and kill them. So they were in the fight, not in the winter. You know, the Romans came up to Jerusalem and they were going to surround it. They pulled back. When they pulled back, Christians escaped. And not one Christian died in the destruction of Jerusalem. But wait a minute. If Jerusalem was destroyed in 78, what sense would it make for Christ to say, pray that your flight be not on Sabbath? 35 years after the cross if they were not going to be keeping the Sabbath if the Sabbath was given to humanity to be kept in every generation it was written by God's own finger on the table of stone God has written the Sabbath of 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 the Sabbath I think time has been lost and we don't have a Sabbath. Verse in the Bible, second through language and third through astronomy. Let's look at the was started in creation and the Sabbath was restated in the Ten Commandments. The Sabbath was kept from Genesis to Moses or from the Sabbath was kept from Genesis to Moses. Because God said, remember the Sabbath, so no time lost there. The Sabbath was kept from Moses to Jesus, because Jesus, it said as his custom, kept the Sabbath from no time lost there. Now, remember the Bible tells us about three days right in a row. In Luke chapter 23, verse 54, it says this, That day, that is the day Christ died, and the woman who had come 
with him from death. And prepared to take the Christ of Christ and the Sabbath and rest in the Sabbath after the Sabbath as he rested in the Jews. And when Jesus says they rested in the Sabbath according to the commandment. So the commandments weren't nailed on the cross because the next day the so rest of the Sabbath rested so the rest of the Sabbath rested in the Sabbath and the rest of the Sabbath rested in the Sabbath and the rest of they and certain other people came to bringing spices they had prepared. So you have order of events, three days. You have the preparation day. Friday, that Friday. That's the Friday. day Christ died. What's the name for Friday here in Kiswahili? What do you call it? Day of the week. Friday, yeah. Then you have the next day of the week, the seventh day, and that's Saturday. What do we call that in Kiswahili? Sabato, sure. And then you have Sunday, the first day of the week, and what do we call that in Kiswahili? Sure. So you have three days. The day Christ died, the preparation day, you have the day that Jesus rested in the tomb. The Sabbath day, you have the first day of the week called Sunday. The day Sunday. Somebody says, but wait a minute, we keep Sunday in honor of the resurrection. The Jesus never told us to do that. And second, he already gave us a sign of the resurrection. What is the sign of Christ's death? How do we celebrate Christ's death? Communion. He said, eat this bread. He he my death. But how do we celebrate the resurrection? The resurrection. Jesus said, as many as you are baptized into Christ, you are resurrected into new life. Jesus went down into the grave, he came out resurrected on Sunday morning. We go down into the watery grave on hundreds of thousands in the next Sabbath, and we come out resurrected in the newness of life. The sixth day of the week, Friday the day he died on. Resurrection. represents resurrection on the first day. But what about the Sabbath? The Sabbath is celebrated on the seventh day of the week. So we see that right in the Bible. No time has been lost. We know what the Sabbath is. Christ has given us a single resurrection. And that's not the Sabbath. That is baptism. But you know something? In over 140 languages of the world. The words the seventh day of the week is Sabbath. In 140 languages of the world. Look. In Greek, it's Sabbath. In Spanish, it's Sabbath. In Portuguese, it's Portuguese Sabbath. In uh, Italian, Italian, it is Sabbath. In French, it's it is Sabbath. In German, it's German is Sabbath. Right right Russian, Russian, Russian is Sabbath. Even in Arabic, it's Sabbath. So in a hundred more languages of the world, it is they Sabbath. don't have another name for the seventh day of the week. It's it's Sabbath. 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 And they've said any change in any calendar has never occurred in the world. We can know from language, we can know from astronomy, that the seventh day of the week is the day in Kiswahili we call what? Sabotia. It's the seventh day Sabbath. Sabbath. Now Jesus and all of the yes. apostles kept the Sabbath. Look, the apostle Paul is talking about preaching in Thessalonians. There was a synagogue of the Jews. 
And Paul, as his custom was, Paul this is one of the most significant passages on the Sabbath in the So Paul went in Paul Thessalonica and he went to the Sabbath. The Gentiles who were not Jews said Paul were so moved by the preaching of Christ you come to preach to us the next Sabbath. Sabbath. So what Paul say? No, you come back on Sunday tomorrow and I'll preach to you. On the next Sabbath, Sabbath. 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 The, next Sabbath. the next what? Sabbath. Sabbath. The whole city came to be here. So here, Paul just come Gentiles to come Christians to come on, on, on the next the whole city comes to hear the word of God through the Bible he kept in the New Testament on the Sabbath day we were not there for the first time that's when he was in Philippi he was there and he has a small group there is no there is no there is no there is no so he needs to be in the small group on the Sabbath he came down and spoke to the women that were there. So highly regarded by the river side. The revelation of Jesus Christ calls us back to true worship. In the last days of our history, God is calling us from the falsehood of men's doctrine. He is calling us from the errors of human teaching. He is calling us back to the Bible. In fact, the book of Revelation was written on the Sabbath. John says, I was in the spirit. That is, I had a heavenly vision of the book of the Bible. I keep the Lord's name. I keep the Lord's name. Wait a minute. Does this text say that the Lord's day is Sunday? Does it say that? Not at all. Careful. What day is the Lord's day? Let's ask Jesus. You think Jesus is a good one to ask? You think he is? You think Jesus is a good one to ask? Let's ask Jesus. Jesus, what day is the Lord's day? He tells us three times. Matthew 12, verse 8. Matthew. Son of man is born of the Sabbath. If the Son of man is born of the Sabbath, what day is the Lord's day? Verse 28. Therefore, Son of man is born of the Sabbath. Lord of the Sabbath. Who says, verse 5, the Son of man is Lord of the Sabbath. Why do you think it's in the Bible? Three times. Why is it in the Bible? Three times. Because if you miss it in Matthew, you get it in Mark. And if you miss it in Mark, you get it in Luke. The Son of Man is Lord of the Sabbath. The Lord's Day is not Sunday. According to Jesus Christ Himself, the Lord's Day is what day, everybody? What day, everybody? The Sabbath day. The Sabbath of the creative God in Genesis is the Lord's day in the book of And in the last days of verse history, God is in men and women from the traditions from the falsehoods of the human teaching. To meet the errors of the past, the Revelation 14, verse 12, talks about God's end-time people, and it says, Here is the patience of saints. Here are those who keep the faith of God. And they will be the end-time people. They will be the end-time people. They will be the end-time people. People. Sabbath, given it to create a Sabbath, reinstated, given a Sabbath, kept by God's people down through the years, kept by Jesus, the Sabbath, the Sabbath, honored by the disciples, a sign of God's power. 
Akabonero ka katonda kama nyinga katonda sabiti ne munse mpya tugenda abaga lokuma sabiti isaya kaka mukago lwa bimwe bimwe lwa bimwe sabiti kida okuva ku mwezi okuboneka ku mwezi okutoka ku mwezi okuboneka and it shall come to from one new heaven and one new heaven to 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 one new heaven you think we should be keeping it in the Sabbath? If Adam kept the Sabbath, Moses kept the Sabbath, Isaiah kept the Sabbath, Jeremiah kept the Sabbath, Paul kept the Sabbath, Peter kept the Sabbath, Jesus kept the Sabbath. If we keep the Sabbath in heaven, we will not keep the Sabbath today. We will not keep the Sabbath today. We will keep the Sabbath today. We will not keep the Sabbath today. Jesus is calling tonight. For men and women, to get the blessing of the Sabbath. God has an amazing blessing for you. He has blessed you with His blessings into your life. Every Sabbath, He wants to give you new hope. Every Sabbath, He wants to give you new hope. Every Sabbath, He wants to give you new hope. Every Sabbath, He wants to give you new hope. Every Sabbath, He wants to give you new hope. Every Sabbath, He wants to give you new hope. Every Sabbath, He wants to give you new hope. Every Sabbath, He wants to give you new hope. Every Battling in the world. To make Ghana, to Iya, na kumukaga. And work and work. Na tu kose tu koye. From sometimes surrounded by colleagues. Unga tuwe tolo bolu saban tuwa tu malamu amani. Agamba jangu jini. That church doors in worship. Bona yigi la miango jiki kanisa no sisi. As you worship in that small group, you send the blessings down upon you. You sense that there's rest. That here there's freedom from anxiety. 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 New courage for the future. There's new strength in your life. You come to worship on the Sabbath. You remember the Creator that God made you. Not alone in the universe. Remember that Christ redeemed you. Remember that the one that created you will give you power another week. You come weak from a week of struggle. You come weak from a week of struggle. But you know it's a weekend. No one and I know who makes it power in your life. You go from Sabbath church with a new sparkle in your eyes, with a new spring in your step. You go from Sabbath church with a new hope in your heart. You face the week because you have worship. The Creator of God will be with you all week. You come on Sabbath. You look out over the world. No, to no you see famine and suffering no, and heartache. No, you come on Sabbath, no, breathing no, polluted air. No, you come no, on Sabbath, no, you come on Sabbath no, remembering that one no, day the Creator no, who created the world no, will recreate the world. Sabbath is a link in the chain between creation in the past and the new creation in the future. You come on Sabbath there and you come with hope in your heart. You come believing. You come with faith saying, God, you did it once. God, do it again. You did it once, God. You created a perfect world. God, you do it again. How many of you tonight want to rest in peace on Sabbath? How many of you tonight want to get the blessings that you only can get on Sabbath? How many of you tonight want to rest in peace? Courage and faith. I am going to continue to look forward. I am going to look forward and say, Jesus, for me, Sabbath is going to be special. You want Jesus? 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 Africa to say, Lord, we want the blessing that we take a week to sabbath you tonight. Never been baptized the Bible way. 
into a church keeping the commandments of God the groups tonight have never been baptized by immersion you have been baptized and drifted away if you have been baptized as a Christian but not into a Sabbath keeping church of God gave you the time Nenga Kuba Nao ya gala kubei la chitungu kwa bantu wabu Kamu mbuba ngodi wana kongesi kaya Nga uri yao gana uguguba Kufanya mamuzi but they may need some help. Ngaveta guru yambi. Ngaveta guru. Mwere kere ko. Mwere kere kero ko. Jangu ne mkwano ko. Jangu. Habari yeyo muwe maana mwemuje. Habari wana. Habari yeyo jemula vila. Jemuli yobu baka muno. Bona kamazi. When you go under that water, when you go under your sins are cleansed. And 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 you go under your sins in sites across Africa. To Africa. As you come tonight, Una, Jesus is speaking to your heart. Yes, so you get it Wherever you are tonight, what you come forward. forward. Make 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 to go to make your decision. Decision. Let's sing together. Sing before the water. Before coming home, coming home. Sing sing the 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 are still coming. Jangu, 
Lwacho vakuo ya kwagala e ya kutonda na kulokola kuita msadaka ya Yesu Kristo agamba jangu ndio muda kutegemea maisha yako lero lwe lwo buloko zibugana ngine mwanyina zi enchabu inzo kubanda buyise tembea uje hapa mbele tembea uje hapa jangu jangu mugana jangu mugana ndi sembera ono maso tugenda kusabira aba bazze maso bwebaye yatana bakusembera kuno kusala wo goko lango kulowoza zako burunji wani ko mkono bo oyinzo kuba otari ko wala wani ko mkono mugana ni mwanyasi tugenda kusala We're going to pray just now. And as I pray, if you're in the valley of decision, for baptism, for baptism, for rebaptism, for baptism, and you need strength, just step out right now and come down and I'll pray. You're in the valley of decision. Bocha ni mchuo mbili upate uja siri. Nienda kusabira. Ninakuambia nienda kusabira. Usogea uje hapa mbele. Yesu yeba ziwe. Weba ni roho mwamyo huyo, roho mchalo ya zee. Katu ime hiyo ikitundu chini. Naimba fungu moja tena na Katu ime ikitundu chini. Ndio tukulinda ko. Mugana angine mwanyina zi. Nashindwa kufanya maamuzi. Unahitaji kwa weta go kusabira. Jangwa. Tembea tu pale ulipo kwenye vile tuko kule mlipo tembea pale jangu wapokea let's pray god bless you come come sana mkama kuo mksa mkama kuo mkama kuo mksa mwenye nazii upo katika bonde la kufanya maamuzi na unahitaji maombi Coming home, we're going to sing the verse in Job. And we're going to sing the verse in Job. And we're going to sing the verse in Job. And we're going to sing the verse in Job. And we're going to sing the verse in Job. Mukama <laughs> Banji bachadja. Banji Come up, warm, Jesus 
touching their hearts. Uwe balokwata kwa miti majani. A very specific call to look forward to follow Jesus. Please see. Uwe balokwata kwa miti majani. Uwe balokwata kwa miti majani. Uwe balokwata kwa miti majani. Thank you for the many who have made decisions to be baptized. Uwe balokwata kwa miti majani. 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 I pray for those in their homes. Tu sabila kwa kwa miti majani. I pray for those who have come forward to screen. I pray for those who have come forward right here. Oh Jesus. Yes. Touch their hearts. Strengthen them. And draw them close to you. Hold them in your hand. We pray in Christ's name. Let me tell you about tomorrow night's meeting. You know, if the Sabbath is so plain in the Bible, how many of you see it's plain? Say amen if you think it's plain. Bobango kaka sida dala tirambulu dua mduunji. How was the Sabbath changed? Katitu geenda kulaba. Sabbat ya chusi wetia. Changed by man. Ngaba ntu beba jichusa. So si katonda. A powerful prophecy. Tu geenda kubala ka. Kwa hunda biobu aman. Kwa hufa mchita mchadani. Walebio jitoa kwa jili ya. Tu geenda kulaba hunda biobu aman. Tukutane pale kuna mkama. Aba omu kisi. Oh ni pale pale. Maelekea upande ule kwa ajili ya maelekezo na maombi pale mwafate wa viongozi wa kanisa moja kwa moja hapo kwa ajili ya maombi na maelekezo mengine bwana wabariki sana